This is just for my divine fems or men who feel like they're in their divine feminine energy right now. This is just for me to gas you up, hype you up, tell you why you're so irresistible to the world, tell you why you're such a magnet and why you attract everything you want in this world and this life because of your energy, your outer beauty, your inner beauty, all over beauty. Just let me just bring you to the next level let me ascend you <laughs> let me just hype your energy up praise you why are you specifically so divine all right go and pick your piles and um i'll see you there Changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish and run, yeah, yeah We should never let go So tell me who you love, baby Take a moment to unwind Fix yourself and realign yourself with the world, baby Hello, Pile One So if you chose this lovely river rock that I found Just along the path of some day, of some month, of some year <laughs> Then this is the pile for you Lovely Pile One Let me just tell you when I pick this rock up, I just feel immediately grounded. And at first I thought this was some regular rock that I was gonna go and skip in the river. And then I looked at it and it was beautiful. It had all these, these hidden colors in it. And I'm pretty sure if you tumble it, it really shows its beauty to you. And so right off the bat, you have the type of energy, the type of beauty that just grows on people. Some people think they could just pick you up and talk to you any sort of way or whatever until they realize exactly who the heck you are and they realize just how divine your energy truly is. So let's start off with some of the tarot cards. They're, they're all pre-shuffled by the way. <laughs> okay, I have not looked at them yet. Okay, starting off with the Three of Pentacles. So right off the bat, people think you work so, people think you work so goddamn hard. You are just always moving around. They can't even talk to you. People just be trying to talk to you all the time, but you're so on a mission that they think they don't, you don't have time for them. And what's coming through is that you, even when you just go to the grocery store, you look beautiful. People can't take their eyes off you. Even when you're just shopping and you think you look a hot mess, but you are just, 
irresistible. Just, you make people stumble over their words. <laughs> Ooh, you make people really relax. You just calm them right down. You make them think maybe they should join this spiritual movement. <laughs> maybe they should join in on this divine energy that you have. You make people feel like they're running out of time to find someone so beautiful as you. Like you're a once in a lifetime. People watch you creepily. <laughs> People feel like they need to stalk you. They just need to get up in your bedroom window and watch you sleep is what's coming through. Just, there is no one quite like you. They see that you've been through some, some mess before when they first talk to you or first the first impression of you. And they just, that makes you all the more interesting. You're just ever unfolding. But people really think you're the most attractive when you're just in your resting state. Next we have the hang man. People feel like they're just stuck on stupid deer in the headlights. <laughs> Deer in the headlights when they see you. Just, wow. They wanna just look at you from different angles. They wanna approach you from different perspectives. They just wanna get all up in your business. <laughs> they feel your healing presence and they just stop in their tracks to get some of that energy you have. You exude healing energy. People want to look under your skirt. <laughs> That's what I just heard. They want to see what you got going on under there. Ooh. Okay. How one. Okay, let's start off with these cards. I mean, fit floor, whatever. <laughs> so, people think you're a little bit of a softy or whatever, like that's their first impression, but you're really biting somebody. <laughs> they like your feistiness. They like your soft and cuddly and your feistiness. They think you are just one of a kind. You just, your smile lights up the room because it's so white. You literally bring the blinders when you smile because it's just so light and bright and they just can't stop staring at you they want to talk to you so bad they want to get you in the bed so bad but people's throat chakras be blocked <laughs> i'm doing too much <laughs> i'm sorry i did it again i just they just be they like they look at you like the black widow they're just like oh my gosh she's gonna devour me but i think i want to be devoured <laughs> you are one of a kind they really just want to get you without clothes on they want to see how you really truly act when you are just free <laughs> oh they really just want to talk to you calmly gas you up for sure Somebody really likes your long legs. Cause I'm thinking of like a daddy long legs. <laughs> the sun is coming out for you guys, pile one. You just, you really truly light up the room. People can't imagine such grace, such poise. People feel like you're, you are so gorgeous. Oh, your energy is so all-consuming that you really could just devour people. You could manipulate them. You could trap them in your little web or your big web. People really feel like you are a splash of joy and excitement in that bedroom. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, let's see. For pile one. 
people just can't decide what to do without you or just what to do with you. What, how do they move forward? How do they get in your DMs? How, how? I just, I can't decide on how to talk to you. What do you like to talk about, Pile One? My little river rock? What do you like to do? Can I do it with you? Are you always so motivated to work hard? I'm stuck. I really want to talk to you. I really just want to talk to you softly. Please work with me. Please. I think that was somebody's person that just I just channeled. Next card is yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Paul one. Your divine counterpart is sad. They're really sad. They really they seen you. Like I don't know if you know the, your divine counterpart already, but like they seen you, and they just don't know how to approach you. They feel like unworthy of you and your attention people don't know how to act you're so magnetic because you're such a joy to be around that people don't even feel worthy of your presence because they know they need to put in some work they feel like they need to reach they need to work hard to reach your empress status, to reach your divine feminine status. And they just don't see how it's possible. They can't just turn around and see, hey, I got some energy too. I'm pretty bomb too. They can't even talk to you. They can't approach you. You just, you're too something else. Oh my God, two of cups. Yeah, you are so irresistible because you were born to be irresistible. people really just want to offer their cup of love to you and you truly do have a divine counterpart out there that's just missing the crap out of you or just really in love with you and just don't even know how to talk to you don't know how to get back in touch with you don't know if they'll ever see you again you're like this mythical creature to them you're one of a kind you just are so unique that how how am i ever gonna be with a person this beautiful how am I ever gonna offer them my cup? How am I ever gonna reach that divine masculine status to reach my divine femme? I just wanna touch her. She's so precious. I can't believe how beautiful her eyes looked. I wish I had just looked up a little bit longer. <laughs> Aww. Oh, one. Okay, last closing messages. Your intuition is on point, pile one. My divine feminine, you have just been flourishing and you came out of your cocoon. You got dressed up today. That was just me too, but, <laughs> but yeah, you got dressed up today. You went out probably just to some place you usually go to and then you came back to the woods. <laughs> but yeah, your throat chakra is on point. If they would have just talked to you, oh, channeled message, somebody really likes the way you arch in the bedroom. Oh my God. They can't believe somebody could dip it down so low like you. <laughs> don't, don't hit the messenger. I don't mean for this to get like rated R or nothing, but yeah, Power One, somebody really is thinking about how you used to be in the bedroom. You just rock their world. But you just came right out of your cocoon. You probably started that, um, that project that you've been trying to work on. People see how much it's really working out for you or see your happiness. Somehow, somehow somebody's picking that up because I feel that you mainly keep to yourself because you've been in that cocoon stage. Um, uh, channel message, somebody's spying on you. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, that not sorry. Somebody's spying on you. Channel message.
overall, people think you're attractive because they seen you went through it. They seen your past, or at least the people from your past have seen your history and they seen you struggle to get out of that cocoon. You struggle to make your way to where you are now. You struggle to be in that divine feminine energy that you are in now. People just wanna give you the rainbow, but they only got like one color of it, but you supplied the whole, the whole, I don't know where I was going with that. You just, you are the rainbow. People wanna give you the rainbow, but you are it already. Like, sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna leave this energy, but that was it, pile one. Thank you, my lovely little river rock. <laughs> uh, my big butterfly. I'm offering personal readings now. Um, please follow my Instagram, subscribe to the channel. I will miss you. I hope you come back to my channel because your energy is top notch and I will know when you come back. Bye bye pile one. Hello my lovely pile two. You chose the shell. So right off the bat, people just want to tear you open like an otter to get to the oyster or the pearl that you have inside. You are just magnificent. You, you can't be touched. You're untouchable right now. You have me reached max freaking divine feminine energy. There is just absolutely no one like you in this world. You have so unique. You draw so many energy vampires, it's ridiculous. Your energy cannot be easily tapped into. It's gonna be incredibly hard to read your energy because you're your ancestors and spirit guides and your angels are very protective. I feel the presence of them right now. They see that I truly just want to compliment you and they're inviting me in. Oh, oh my God, your, wow, your energy is so amazing. Oh my God, let's get started, I'm excited. I'm excited. We'll start off with, um, oh my God, the strength. The universe or God has assigned Archangel Michael to you. That's your angel. He watches over you since the day you were born. You are the strength card. So you might be a Leo or something, doesn't matter. But wow, people admire you because they see how strong you are. They see you work out and they like your booty bouncing. I just, <laughs> okay, that just came through. That was a little odd. But yeah, they, they see your booty bouncing when you're jogging and they just, they start to jog a little bit too. <laughs> You might see more people being active literally just because of you. You started running on a path. Uh, this is literally channeled. I, I'm picturing you right now. You started running on a path that you thought was pretty private. And lately, you've been seeing everybody on that. Like, especially a lot of guys just looking like they, they've been, yeah, I've been jogging for quite a while now. Um, uh, this is my path. <laughs> Knowing dang well you weren't here three weeks ago during the three weeks that I've been jogging. <laughs> oh yeah, but people just really see your divine feminine energy coming through when you're working out the most. When you're building strength mentally and people see you meditating somehow. Maybe you meditate outside. Okay, next card is the Ten of Wands. Wait, yeah. Okay, yeah, the Ten of Wands. So right off the bat, they see how in tune you are with spirit. People are a little intimidated by you. They feel like they can't break your walls. They can't tear you down. They can't 
They can't do anything. You're too dang strong. You've been through too so too much. You've been through too much. You see everybody's game. Nobody will put the fire out inside of you. Channel message. Um, your walls are too high that you're kind of scaring off your divine counterpart. 411 as I said that so some information that I said is coming true <laughs> um you're a little intimidating to him but that's not really your fault it's just you're it's just he's insecure right now he needs to build his confidence um sorry but that's not what we're talking about today you are just people feel way down with how way down but like Maybe I shouldn't say way down, like anchored, anchored and grounded with your energy. 444 as I said that. Oh my God, you are like, you are so stable. You really just provide this ultimate energy to people. Fireworks, you little firecracker. You're so, you're definitely a fire sign. We had the strength card. Oh the strength card now we got the ten of wands like wow you're definitely a fire a fire sign um yeah people really just feel like when they see you when they lay eyes on you they just picture you as an angel but like with black wings is what i'm seeing you might have pale skin you look so pure you have I think you have darker hair. Yeah, you have darker hair or lighter hair, like almost icy hair. You look like fire is what's coming through. Yeah, or just people, when they come around you, they feel warm. Phys physically and in spirit, they just feel warm and centered. Next card death oh my god that scorpio energy coming through you can trans <gasps> i swear i didn't look at these cards oh my god black wings black wings dark hair i did not look at these cards oh my god i should have shuffled on camera i'm mad <laughs> oh my god this is literally you this is you you're constantly transforming. People can't, your divine counterpart can't, he feels like he can't keep up because he's insecure and he needs to grow a little bit more. But anyway, you are right where you need to be. You are right on track. You are so magnetic because your energy is so hard to grasp. You ground a bitch, but I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you ground a guy or you ground a girl before you tell them who you tell you put them in their place with your energy alone it's like you can't touch me i'm divine excuse me no you can't knock me off my horse <laughs> oh my god i feel like you might be seeing 17 a lot i know this card number isn't 17 but i feel like you've been seeing 17 a lot that's like your number right now Okay, next. I think we're just gonna finish with it. I mean, go with the tarot and leave your little oracle cards. Oh, you're a hermit. People see the light inside of you before you do. <laughs> That's why you draw so many energy vampires. But you're so strong that you can handle them. You just, you shoo them right off because you've been through so much already. You're just like, by narcissist by energy vampire by worthless guy by <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't even mean to bring the cards up but well, here we go your intuition is on point yeah you've reached max you've reached max max divine feminine energy People feel disappointed in themselves when they meet you. You're this gift from God and they just feel like, who am I then? God or universe, I thought you made us equal. But look at me, look at me. 
I don't look like her. I don't look this good. I don't look this balanced. I don't look this on point. My garden isn't flourishing as good as hers. Look at me in the sand under whatever this tree is while she got a whole garden of sunflowers behind her. While the moon is literally at her feet and I just got these three cups. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. People like you because you are so humble with it. You are the, the definition of the strong, silent type. People at first think they can play you, come up to you, because you do look a bit approachable at first. And then like the closer they walk to you, all of their confidence is draining. <laughs> They don't think they deserve somebody so smart, so in tune with themselves, so in tune with nature. They don't think they deserve you. And most of them don't. <laughs> most of them do have to put in some work into themselves before they can approach you. You feel like you make them feel like they got to go sit in the grass under the tree and get grounded again because they're just, they know, they know they're not worth your time. I mean, that's sad, but did you put in the work in yourself though? Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> did you put the work in? Oh my goodness. People truly just want to see you undress yourself. People see that you are so independent that they want you to dominate them in the bedroom. People feel like you'll break their bed. <laughs> you'll literally kill them with how sexy you are you are and you'll guide them their souls to heaven <laughs> to summer land <laughs> I'm sorry okay let's see here oh yes you you look like a shut door yeah you look like a shut door when people first meet you you look like no one can touch you. Only my male counterpart can ha have the key to this door. I am not easy to crack. <laughs> I will hide from you. You will have to work super hard. Get an ax. You're going to have to beat this door down like the shining to get my energy. And here's your confidence just right behind the door. Just, yeah, I'm confident. Yeah, I'm beautiful. But I'm humble too. <laughs> Nobody can open this door but your counterpart. Some of you have been questioning if your intuition is on point or not and it is it's perfectly fine you don't have to keep asking your friends if you're good or not you just are i feel like you should wear purple that'll help with um feeling more secure in your intuition that's just a side note but yeah you are so attractive because you're grounded. You know how to speak up for yourself. You can get really wet. <laughs> That's only from people who've been had the pleasure of being with you. You can get super naughty. 
people really want to see that naughtiness you have inside. People really want to get right in your center. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's a little freaky. Next. Oh, yeah, just overall, you are super grounded. And your booty is so round. I just spit on the camera. So, yeah, you get really wet. <laughs> It's super just people oh was this the part that i'm saying like when you jog people are following you yeah oh my god and your butt they just really be staring at your butt oh my <laughs> your butt is super juicy and round and people are just like yep okay i'm on this track too she running i'm running she gonna be a track star i'm gonna be a track star <laughs> because your energy cannot be cracked and people will do anything just to get your attention people will start acting like you so they can get your attention you are so irresistible that people will literally copycat you <laughs> that's been file too thank you for watching please come back i am doing personal readings i will have more cards literally tomorrow i am <sighs> I am beyond excited to just do these for you. I don't care if you don't want any of my personal readings. I am so happy that you're here. I am so happy that you are watching my channel. Thank you for blessing me with your divine energy. Bye bye, Pile 2. Hello, Pile 3. Immediately, I am sensing your energy is incredibly hard to trace and track down. You displace energy, and your angels help you do that. So you might be 21 or 23. I don't know why that came through your age. Um, you are so incredibly unique because you switch up on the regular. People think you're one way, but you're another. Every day you're changing and you change exactly with the moon cycles. You either know that or you will know it. Your angels help you displace energy because you've been through so much. You are really on top of your stuff. I hate to say this, but in all the piles, you might be the strongest, or I don't wanna say strongest, but yeah, you might, you might be the boss's bitch. <laughs> So like if everybody was supposed to be millionaires you'd be the billionaire <laughs> let's just flip over all your tarot cards oh my god i i promise i did not look at these cards you're the star the six of pentacles and the emperor 131 as i said that that's an angel number please look it up so people are automatically drawn to you because you light up a room you're so giving, you're so humble, while also sitting on your throne. People are drawn to you because you make money. Uh, I hate to say that, but you do make a lot of money and you've got enough to give, or you will be in that energy pretty soon. Very soon. 2.11 as I said that. People like you because you're so giving and so humble. People like you because you just cannot be fooled. People tried to fool you in the past. People think you dress like royalty. So maybe you can, you look really expensive. You come off as very expensive. So I just heard the song um, from High Highs, High Highs to Low Lows by uh, Lolo or Lulu or something. I'll make sure I put it in the description. Like they think it's all real, but it's 99 cents. <laughs> so you wear some sort of jewelry that looks like it's really expensive, but like it was like $5 on sale. <laughs> Fireworks going off. So. I'm gonna take that as confirmation that 
you're gonna be celebrating very soon. There was, the fireworks just went off and so it just released so many birds over my head. They flew that way, like behind me. I, I am, I am amazing. You are so connected with spirit. You're, you are the most psychic. You are the most psychic. I, I'm just, I'm, I don't care. Pile one and two, I'm sorry if you're watching. But pile three, the people who immediately pick pile three are the most psychic. I wouldn't be, I, I, how are you on my channel right now? I'm new to tarot. Uh, I feel like, who are you? Um, you're famous. You're like from a really big channel. I can sense it. You're from a really big channel. Thank you for coming. Yeah. I'm like fangirling right now. You, this is how you make people feel. Uh, I need to drink water. I need to ground myself because let me just, let me just ground myself. Let's, let's move on. People see you as shiny. You're so shiny. Oh, and this group got the most <gasps> Oh my God. I swear, I'm, for all the pals, I keep doing this. I swear I didn't look at these cards. Oh my God, I gotta start shuffling on camera. I'm not doing this no more. I definitely have to shuffle on camera. You're the star. Verified twice. Aquarius energy for sure. Capricorn energy. Aries energy. Air energy for sure. Water, Scorpio, uh, Pisces moon, Cancer moon. Um, there's some Capricorn, uh, Taurus, Virgo energy. Just like you really built so much abundance by yourself. Or there's an offer or coming that's hidden from you right now to make you in this that's gonna make you in this abundant single energy you have really put in the hard work you've been talking more to people I think maybe you've been going to therapy is what I'm hearing but people think you are so attractive because you really are like royalty people just stumble upon you at the times they need it the most and you have been so, you, you're so nurturing, so caring, so shiny, so shiny. I'm really hearing shiny, shiny. ET, extraterrestrial. There's no one like you. I, if you were thinking about starting like some sort of energy healing or some sort of business in reading tarot cards or something and working with energy you need to do it you need to do it the world needs this energy i've never come across an energy like this never 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 please get a reading from me i'm sure i want to read you for free <laughs> oh my goodness wow the things you say people don't expect it it catches people off guard with how sensual and caring and strong you are. It catches people off guard with how much you shine. You have a darkness about you that just lights, that just throws people completely off. You're ever changing. You can hide everything from everyone. You can go away for months at a time and then you come out and you say a few things and you're just abundantly beautiful and enamoring and you just shine. You just shine. You're so connected with spirit. I'm convinced that you're a big YouTuber. I'm convinced you're a big YouTuber or like you own a, a very big business or you will own a very big business in this, this industry. Ugh. 
I don't even know what to say. I, you're so magnetic because you're just amazing all the way around. You are so well balanced with earth, air, fire, but mainly air. I'm seeing a lot of air and water. You have got to have like Aquarius heavy in your chart. People need your words of wisdom. It's kind of, it's gonna be kind of channeled messages for this pile because, wow. People think your, your looks are from outer space. People don't think a person like you exists until they see you. You're like a UFO. And then you just disappear. You're so gentle. So non judgmental. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's let's move on here. I gotta go kinda quickly. I'm sorry I'm cutting y'all off. You guys this reading was faster because the sun and tree. Yeah, you 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 deeply put people in deer in the headlights energy. You stop people in their tracks and they feel like they just gotta stop and just observe you. And no matter what you're doing, people are watching you. No matter what you do in this world, people are watching you. People think things are just handed to you because you're so attractive and so beautiful, but you worked hard for everything you had. You are so attractive because, ooh, juicy booty. I just heard juicy booty, sorry. Um, <laughs> juicy booty, you got a juicy booty. Um, yeah, your body was made for the gods. You wanna see you without pants. They definitely wanna see you without pants. Just like, we need to poo here. <laughs> um, people really wanna taste that honey you got because you just keep it all to yourself and people hate that you don't share that shit. <laughs> oh my God. People think you are so unattainable. Let's see here, closing messages. I am an ant and a squirrel. Oh, so you're really just enjoying your own time. You have been thinking about collaborating with a person who's been, who's confident is what I'm hearing. But anyway, um, I don't know the advice on that. I would have to pull some more cards. Uh, but anyway, uh, people love it the most when you're playful and when you're hard at work, you just look so much, so attractive when you're focused on your work. You look so confident when you're focused on your hard work and um people just want to laugh with you and play with you they want to see beyond your exoskeleton you know they just want to see your mushy insides people think you might actually be soft and playful and cuddly they just want to hold you in their hands you might have brown skin lovely tan brown skin or olive skin tones uh, you might have black hair or blonde hair and it's very interesting to see you cause like your hair kind of tones in with your skin and you wear this, this lovely makeup that just suits you so well is what I'm hearing. People really want to work hard to just be able to lay back and play with you. Aw, <laughs> that is so sweet. Pile three. <sighs> Please, please come back again. 
please come back again. I am in awe of your energy and I really hope to have you back on my channel. Watch all the piles. Grace all the piles with your energy. Please do, please do. Clap it up for pile three with how hard you work to get to this, this sort of energy, to get to this sort of magnetic, magnetic goddess-like energy. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye, pile three. <laughs> thank you for being here. Please come back. Ugh, you don't gotta buy no readings. Just come back to the channel. Thank you. Bye. Also follow me. Bye-bye.